Hello. Well, I want you to introduce you to the queen of knowing her mind in this household. Her name is Lilo, and she definitely knows her own mind. I was with a session with an animal communicator the other day, because we've been having some issues in the past 18 months. And the animal communicator says, she knows her own mind. She's stubborn. I said, tell me something I don't already know. Lilo, she knows her own mind. And right now, she would rather be somewhere else. So I will let her go and continue talking about knowing your own mind. It's important to know your own mind before you can do anything for other people. What do you stand for? How do you practice? Listen, I've always said it, it's great to get a mentor or a coach. Those are guides, but you have to find your own path. And when you find your own path, suddenly things become smooth. And I can tell you that from personal experience. Give you a great example. It's about reading. And this was in university. And most people, I, I could never cram. I just could never cram. I'm one of those people who were at the lectures because when I hear it, I absorb it over a period. It's like building blocks. I'm a, you know, visual person and I need to hear it at the same time. And I build those blocks as we go along. And by the end of it, hey, watch out. Anyway, so most of my classmates would come towards the exam period and be cramming. Late nights, thick coffee, hyperactive. You know, at that time there was a lot of smoking as well. Smoking, whatever. I never smoked, but I just didn't like the habits, uh, you know, didn't like the smell, didn't like the anything, and for which I'm grateful for, because I try and persuade everybody. It's a bad habit. So if you smoke, please stop. Okay, moving on. So there we were, you know, and I'd get my colleagues thinking that that was the way to do it, to wake me up. Wake up, go to the reading room, promptly put the bed on, the book on my lap, and fall asleep. Then the next stage was to say, okay, just make sure I get up. They would come and wake me up. I would go back to sleep. So what happened? We had the exams. So I was doing none of this. There are people that we had this particular textbook, which was very heavy going. Somebody would come the next day and say, I've read 50 pages and here is me. have only gone through maybe two pages. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I am stuffed. Come the exams. By the time it was all said and done, there were four of us out of 200, by the way, who were given distinct distinctions. I was one of those four, including the person who read 50 pages a day, and I read two pages a day. What does that tell you? I had finally found my own groove. I knew that the late night reading, the last minute cramming was not for me. You know what I used to do? The night before exams, I would go to the movies. It cleared my mind. I said, what I didn't know at that stage, it was too late, don't bother. Just go and chill, watch a movie, come back, write the papers. I would finish, and I never was one of those people who ruminated over papers. I would simply put down my answers. Once I'd finished, get up, leave, go. I don't sit there basically till the last minute basically thinking, is this right, is this wrong? My first answer was usually my final answer, and that was it. Find your own rhythm. And once I found my own rhythm, it was fantastic. I know my learning style. My learning style is not cramming. My learning style is building. The same thing I do for when I go to a new place. I start from somewhere and I start to know the area by ever increasing circles, by having a frame of reference. That is the way I do it. Some people can simply look up and they know exactly where they are. Wonderful. Just know who you are and go for it. Okay? So that's the beginning. Know who you are. And once you know who you are, people will see you as authentic. You need to present your authentic self. Okay. Bye now. And from Lilo. Click below and subscribe to the newsletter. More later.